everybody welcome to fancy learning videos today our subject is physics and we'll be talking on dimensional analysis so these quantities are basic quantities that means they combine to form other quantities and these other quantities are called the derived quantities so before you get derived quantities you have to get fundamental quantities or basic quantities so example of such fundamental or basic quantities are mass, length, time, temperature. We have a lot. So from the combination of two or more basic quantities or fundamental quantities. So that means these basic quantities form the derived quantities. So example, we have density, but then momentum. And a lot, but then we will just focus on these. So now to the dimensional analysis itself. In phases, mostly you have to add the unit or the SI unit for such a quantity. So when you solve for it, you add the unit. So how do we find the unit? You just don't assume it. You go step by step. So this is a step by step procedure. This will help you know the unit to use length width width height distance displacement they are all l so it's a capital l for dimensional analysis then when we see time is capital t mass capital m so we use capitals and i'll give you a minute v will be velocity and mostly we write them in parenthesis so the blocked bracket and we know distance is the same as l time is t which is the same as l t minus one so volume we know volume is the same as length it depends so we can have volume of a cube volume of a cuboid so volume of a cube or a square will be l times l times l that means length times length times length so length times length times length and also this so this for cube or square and also, we know cuboid or a rectangle. How will it be? So the volume will be equal to length. Sorry. Length times breadth the same as width times the height but you saw in our capital L it's still going to be capital L so V volume so any of them is equal to L times L times L. Actually, you can just do L cube. One is density, and we know density is the same as mass over volume. Hence, we know mass to be capital M. The volume, we've already solved this, which was capital L to the power 3. So, density capital M over L3. So from indices, we are going to get capital M L to the power minus three. So this is density. The last one is acceleration, and acceleration is the same as velocity over time. We've already found for velocity, we found velocity to be L T minus one. And we know time is T, so we are going to get L T minus one. 
I mean this is you getting this so this will be the solution remember I told you that you can use this to find the unit so the SI unit let me teach you how so you flip to the first page okay so for this we know that L takes meters here we are going to use meters so meter which is m t which is time so time takes second which is s so from here what are we going to get m times s to the power negative one Mind you, all of them are in small letters. These are my small letters. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. Here was this L cube. So we know L is meter. So M to the power 3. That will be the answer. The unit. And this, this is M and it's mass. Mass is small K, small G. That is kilogram. So kilogram, then we know this to be meter. So this will be the SI I need for density. And the last one, acceleration. We know L is the same as meter. Time, which is second to the power negative two. This will be the answer. So with this, you go through with um so force, force is equal to mass times acceleration. We know mass to be capital M. Mind you, they are in this bracket. So capital M times acceleration. Acceleration, we said, is velocity over time. So L, T, minus 2. Can you see it that way? So this is it. So this will be the dimension for force. How to find the SI unit? You know mass is kg. L is meter. T will be for second, which is S. This is the same as kg m per S squared. Now Let's go to acceleration. Let's go to work then. So work done is the same as force times distance. We know force to be mass times acceleration. So I'll just write the dimension. Sorry, there's my L. We know distance is what? It's also L. We're going to get. So this will be the dimension for work done. Now let's check the SI unit. So the SI unit will be mass, which is kg. L squared, which is meter squared. This. So this will be the SI unit. So you can write this. All joules. Yes, you can write this. All Newton. I hope we can see that. Yes. So if you don't know the Newton and joules, you can just go through this formula to get it. To get because this is correct, this is correct. You're all correct. Alright. Thank you for watching Bansi Learning Videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you.